This morning we are doing stuffed onions and they're stuffed with mortadella and cheese and chard and they're really delicious and they're easy. I really love this recipe actually. This is a really cool recipe. Leo claims he's never done this before. It's like, although he's not from this region, he's from Florence, so they may not make these in Florence. Do they make this in Florence? Let's see, kind of. Kind of. We're following the, re I, I know the recipe. We don't have to follow the recipe. I mean, it couldn't be easier, the recipe. Do you want to chop up the shard? It's from this book, my new book, called At the Table of La Fortessa. So it calls for four onions, but because these onions are long and skinny, you really would only need a couple. So when you're cooking, I mean, you're following a recipe, but you're also following your intuition. Wouldn't you say that's true? Vero. Vero. What does vero mean? It's true. 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 The verità. The verità. Truth. And Italy is like an onion. It just is sort of very layered. There's lots of layers to Italy, which is one of the things I love about Italy. And Italy makes you cry for many <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, Italy is definitely making us cry. No politics here, but it's making us uh, cry. We can talk about that. We can't talk about that. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm just peeling off the outside. But you know, like all Italian recipes, there's like uh, no waste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up the onion to go into our stuffing. So I'm taking out the middle. This is what we're gonna stuff, right? With a spoon, I'm just removing the inside, the inner core, and then we're gonna chop them up. And you know what, don't worry if there's a hole in it because the stuffing is, is pretty, um, it, it will hold up, it won't leak out. So, you know, don't worry if you have a little hole in the bottom, it's fine. You just have this nice um, melding of flavors. You have a nice, soft, delicious, sweet onion. When it cooks, they're just really soft and gooey and yummy. And these are not particularly strong onions. Use a red onion, they're a little sweeter. So we're gonna put these on a baking sheet and then we're gonna stuff them on the baking sheet. Again, great side dish, great with like a roast beef or duck. It'd be nice with duck. Buono. Buono. I love you duck. love duck, I know, I love duck. My husband loves duck too. Oh, are we gonna have this for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this oh, Frank, oh, my you. husband. Um, yeah, I think we could. Hungry. Yeah, I think we could eat it. We could. Yeah. Could oh. you go? Go. Okay. So lunch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, Frank. Yes, you'll get lunch. Don't worry. So Frank is recently retired, so he's around a lot, which he never was before because he was a surgeon. In fact, I haven't seen him in 30 years. And he's really always worried about eating, which I find really interesting because he's a little manorexic. So I don't really understand this. But yeah, we'll, we'll do this for lunch, whatever. Okay, carry on. So I'm really hungry and I don't know why this is taking so long. So we're going to chop up some mortadella. Tell us about mortadella, Leo. It's a cooked salami. Actually, it's It's gone. a cooked salami? See. Si. Okay, it's a cooked, oh. Steam, with steam, steam it. You know, I have to be honest, I did not know that. Bologna mortadella is cooked. Bologna, you know. Bologna. Bologna. We call it bologna in America. Bologna. Bologna in America. Who is Bologna? Bologna is, is, I guess they got it from Bologna. You know, those American- It's the name in English, Bologna. Well, I think the American Italians kind of said- Bologna. Bologna, it's from it's Bologna. It's like a, a surname. Right. So, sounds like a surname. It Hi. does. Yeah, they call it Bologna. Bologna. But, it, <laughs> but we call it mortadella. All right, so we're chopping everything up, putting it all together. I'll do a little bit of salt. We're gonna put some eggs in it. So you're literally making a stuffing. All right, and I'll put cheese in it. Is it enough? Isn't there breadcrumbs in this recipe? No. Oh, cheese, the cheese. Cheese and one cup of vegetable. Carry on broth. with the cheese. Okay. Let's move it along. This is getting boring. Boring! Okay. And then we stuff. And you know, don't be afraid to you know, put a lot of stuffing in these. Some of these recipes are very different than what you're used to. 
I highly recommend you, you know, get the book, watch this video, and make these onions. And they look so pretty. Look how pretty and festive they are. Beautiful. We're not putting that much broth in it. It's a lot of broth. Yes, one cup. Okay, so we, this is the wrong plate. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. He's hinting. Please hold. Welcome to the show where Annette f***s up recipes <laughs> regularly. All right, so then we put a broth in around them. You're just softening the onions. So this is going in the oven. 350. 40 minutes. Around 40 minutes. All right. Just look in the cookbook. Cooked. <laughs> Just read below. We have the recipes below. You know, we mess up all the recipes, but all the real recipes are below. We'll be back and we'll show you um, Frank's lunch. <laughs> so we just checked the recipe. It's actually not 40 minutes. So again, Leo doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Nor do I. So uh, 25 minutes in the oven, 350 and we'll be back. Non ti andrai far talone amoroso, non ti giorno di torno girando, delle belle tornando in riposo, narcisetto ad un cino d'amor. Frank is starving, so I'm going to give him an onion. An onion for Frank. I'm excited Get him, him. and hungry. So I want like a really good reaction. Okay. Like don't fake the reaction. I need okay. You, I need utensils. You're my nurse. You're no, my I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm not. I'm not your nurse. I'm excited. I wouldn't get that excited. It's an onion, Frank. I mean, geez. I've never had this dish. <laughs> Just eat. Ooh, it's beautifully soft. Cut it with a butter knife. It's, this will be hot. It's steaming. It's You're going to have to blow on it, though. Do you want me to blow on it? <laughs> I've been waiting, I've been waiting all, all, all week. <laughs> but I'm pum. I'm going to take a bite with you. Can I have your knife? He always has to eat with a knife and fork. He eats ice cream with a knife and fork. I've never met a person like this. You didn't say anything. It's delicious. I mean, it's like he ate it like... It's I'm like, eating lunch. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're gonna take this with you, but mmm, it's really good. I'm eating more. He's not really. He never gets like really excited about things. This is Frank. I really do excited. occasionally, honey. All right. So, if you want another one, come back. Thank you, dear. Bye. What? You gotta give him the like and subscribe for you. Oh yeah, come back here. What, tell the people what to do. Like and subscribe. <laughs>